Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at creating this simple yet really cool and useful slide transition or you can also say the scroll transition into After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to go and create a new composition and let's just name this Let's just name this transition and change the preset to HDTV 1080p that is 29.97 frames and let's make the duration to about 20 seconds and hit OK. So here I have my two footages that is the one and the second one. So I'm going to drag in both of the footages like so and maybe I'll just drag this to so now this footage is kind of slow so pretty quickly I'm gonna just increase the speed of the footage so I'm gonna right click go to time and time stretch so I'm gonna set this to 50 so it's a bit faster you don't need to actually do this it just you know this footage is slow so you can just use your normal footages of course and I'm gonna drag the second footage to 2 seconds because I want to transition to start from 2 seconds and end at 4 seconds so let's create a marker so that we know our transition is going to take place between these two seconds. So I'm going to speed up this footage as well. Like so and hit OK. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty quickly just turn off the audio then hit T to bring down the opacity. And I'm going to keyframe the opacity. So I'm going to go to 3 seconds. That is the middle of our transition. And I'm going to create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch. And drag this keyframe to let's say at 3 seconds and 5 frames. And then I'm going to bring this down to 0. Like so. So we have this really simple opacity kind of animation opacity keyframing so I select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click create a new adjustment layer and let's just pretty quickly rename the adjustment layer to transition so it's going to be our main transition layer then I'm going to drag in an effect called offset so let's just type in offset and let's just drag and drop it on the transition layer so now if I just you know play around with the properties you can see it offsets the layer so let's create a keyframe so I'm gonna go to two seconds and create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch then I'm gonna go to four seconds where the transition will end so I'm gonna go and multiply 540 by 10 times so 540 into 10 so you can see it get displaced so I'm gonna just fit this up pretty quick like so looks perfect and now we have something like this the transition is happening from one footage to the second one like so which looks pretty lame at this moment i know but we're gonna fix this and make it look really cool so to for that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit u to bring down the keyframe so we can see it and select the keyframe and hit f9 to ease ease them go to graph editor and if, make sure if you're working on a value graph, you need to switch to speed graph. So it make sure you're working on the speed graph editor. So let's create a peak of motion. Yes, the epic peak of motion. I know I use this animation in almost every tutorial, but it's it's just that good. So I use it every time. You know, you can see how cool it looks now. It looks a bit better. Actually, it looks really really better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add blur. So now we are not, you know, animating the footage. So we can't add a motion blur to this. You can see nothing is going to happen because we're not animating the footage after all. The position of the footage, I mean. So to add blur, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the transition layer and type in fast blur into effects panel. And let's just drag and drop it like so and set this to vertical. Repeat edge pixels and then I'm going to increase the blurriness. So we get this really nice kind of blur, which looks kind of motion blur for us. 
so that looks really good so let's just animate this blurriness so I'm gonna create a keyframe on three seconds go to two seconds and set this down to zero then go to four seconds and set this down to zero again then select the keyframe and hit f9 to easy ease them so now we should have something like that looks really really nice yep that is looking really nice Then let's just add pretty quickly to make it look really nice. I'm going to add brightness and contrast as well. And we need to do the same thing. We need to animate the contrast. I mean, the br we need to animate the brightness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up to, let's say, 110 in the, on the three second mark and create a keyframe. Maybe I'll make this 120. Yep, that looks better. Create a keyframe, go to and also play around with the contrast if you want to but for now I'm going to leave this right over there so I'm going to go to 2 seconds and set the brightness to 0 go to 4 seconds and set the brightness to 0 select the layer hit U so we can see the keyframes select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them and bam so easy and so effective looks really really cool you can see this really nice transition you can use it in a short films or you know music videos maybe i'll increase the brightness if you want to looks looks really nice yeah well, maybe i'll just make this 120 even now looks good make this to 200 up Oh, that's 150 is it its limit so yeah need to keep it at 150 looks really really nice now to make it look really nice and effective you can also add maybe i'll just increase the distance between the opacity animation so just to make it a bit smoother if yeah, that looks that looks perfect to me looks really really nice and professional you may have seen this kind of transition in many, many of the music videos or animes or something like that. So let's add some cinematic bars. So to do that, I'm going to create a new solid pretty quick. Name this bars. Make sure it's the comp size and hit OK. Then I'm going to turn on the title action safe and select my mask tool, mask rectangular tool and create a mask like so. Then I'm gonna hit V on the keyboard to make sure I'm in the selection tool. Select this and drag this out like so. Select this and drag this like so. Then I'm gonna select the bottom two and just drag it and make it look perfect. Toggle switches and set the mode to stencil alpha. And we're gonna get something like that, which makes it look really more cinematic and really nice. So yep, it's that simple and that easy and yep, that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was, do not forget guys to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.